everyone, my name is Ramona and welcome to the Tape Eyes channel. First of all, guys, 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 I have colored my hair. I am not anymore blonde, I am dark brunette and I absolutely adore it. Like, I love myself so much like this. To be honest with you, this is actually even um, darker than my natural hair color and it was the first time I experimented with my hair like that considering that I've always kept them like my natural like brownish color maximum blonde but never went so dark and I dyed them two weeks ago and it was like quite black now it's like washed off the color a little bit and it's more like dark brown I adore it like I much prefer myself like this compared to blonde so let me know what you guys think if you like it if you don't so yes but here I am again um, with another perfume video and in this video I'm gonna talk about my newest purchase and that's a highly niche fragrance and it's from Zerzhov so this is the one right here Okay, that's the one. All right. Um, guys, like always, um, before jumping in and talking in details about the fragrance, I wanted to ask you to please hit that red button and subscribe, turn on the notification bell to get updated whenever new videos come out. If you like this video, put a big thumbs up. If you don't like, thumbs down, feel free to comment and so on. So yes, um, guys, I need to say that this is actually my second Zerzhov. My first Zerzhov, it was Bouquet Ideal. I bought it last year in summer. I had a wedding last year and that was a perfume that I used at the wedding. My eye is watering, I don't know why. And that's a um, very feminine, floral, vanilla, -ish, a little bit um, woody, ambery kind of fragrance. Very feminine, super nice and it was perfect for wedding for that occasion. So yeah, that was my first Zerzhov and now I wanted to buy, honestly, honestly, Overture. I was looking for a nighttime summer fragrance, you know, and I had smelled Overture before and I adore it. So I went in the store thinking I'm gonna purchase Overture, you know, without even trying it. I was like, in my mind, you know, I want to buy Overture, that's it. I was in the store with my sister, Redina, and uh, she is addicted to black. Like, black is her color, you know? And um, Overture has um, gray, grayish color with like glitters. And um, I sprayed it and I was like to Redina, here it is, this is the perfume I'm gonna buy, you know? What do you think? She was like, oh, this is so nice, yes. But on the table, there was this one, guys, which I have here, and this is actually Opera. I don't know why it's not closing. Okay, this is the one here, and it's, yes, Opera. And Opera, you guys, has the black bottle. So, yes, um, I'm gonna do the packaging and everything, but yeah. And um, she saw this black bottle on the table, and she was like, have you smelled Opera before, Amona? And I was like, no, not tried it. And she was like, yeah, just give it a try. The bottle screams so expensive, so beautiful. Guys, I tried it, and thanks God I tried it. I absolutely adored it. It was much more me compared to Overture, and I was like, Redina, thank you so much. This is actually the perfume I'm gonna buy. So I went to buy Overture. I ended up buying Opera. They're highly similar. It's not like such a big difference, you know, to say one is like super gourmandish and the other one is super le super letterish. They're quite similar vibes, quite similar notes. However, this is much me, you know, much more potent, much more me. But we're gonna talk about it. So yeah, I ended up buying Opera. I'm so happy about my purchase and everything so yes and in this video i'm gonna review actually opera so yeah this was the background thing and let's get started let's get down let's get down to business okay guys that was just me doing me actually so yeah this is the perfume that's the box so this is a typical zerzhov box Zerge of color and you have the name of the perfume in this case opera and when you open the box this is a gorgeous here guys i mean like this screams money this screams luxury this screams expensive to me like on a whole other level by the way this is and you have it here and this is like the box it's velvet 
and yes this is a 100 milliliter bottle by the way it comes in um, 50 ml and 100 ml but like i loved it and i was like of course i need the 100 ml and the 100 ml i bought it for 265 in harrods so yes i know it's a bit pricey like zergio perfumes are quite pricey but yeah this is this was actually pricier than overture i'm not gonna lie let me just leave the boxes um somewhere else oh god so yes this was actually pricier than overture but i much prefer it and the box yes i showed it to you and this is a bottle the bottle is black velvet bottle you have the gold um zergeoff logo the gold cup you have zergeoff engraved on the cup and it's quite heavy to be honest you have the zergeoff engraved inside the cup as well so oh my god so yes and um that's how it looks i absolutely adore it like on my perfume table i have now uh i don't know like seven perfumes that are fully black roughly so yeah it sits very pretty and i don't know like guys i'm obsessed with the packaging it screams of obsessive <laughs> it screams expensive to me like so much so yes and um now let's talk about the notes you guys okay this is a unisex perfume yes i could even see a man pulling this perfume like an arabic man yes like uh, that's it this is an oriental fragrance without any doubts you know oh my god i i adore it like honestly i adore it like bouquet ideal I left it in fact with my mom because she loved it my mom she loves like floral fragrances and everything so i'm like yeah just just use it you know because like i bought it just for the wedding and i i could see myself i barely used it like it, it's beautiful it's such an amazing feminine gorgeous fragrance but like it's quite florally so i left it with my mom in italy so yes she uses it and everything so very good for her this one it's exactly the opposite from bouquet ideal if bouquet ideal was like a super feminine uh, sensual um floral fragrance this is a super bold super oriental super woody super leathery fruity fragrance okay oh my god this is this is gorgeous this is spicy this is fruity this is vanilla, this is leathery, amber, wood. I'm gonna put a picture of the notes here. But like, this has fruits, like a rose as well, you can smell vanilla, leather, and I'm a big fan of leather fragrances. I'm a super big fan of leather fragrances. Wood, amber, like a spicy, leathery, fruity fragrance. This is how I'm gonna describe this opera, like a spicy, um, woody leathery fruity fragrance that's it like i adore it like it, it's so attention grabber it's so gorgeous like honestly nighttime evening time this fragrance oh my god this screams money this screams expensive this screams arabic highly 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 i adore it like honestly the only thing that i need to say is and I was a little bit disappointed. I'm gonna be highly honest with you. It lasts really long. Like you can smell this after the next day, you know, like 100% is just on the projection. I mean, like it doesn't project for long. And like, I was quite disappointed. Like that's the only downturn. Maybe, I don't know, it's just me. It does project for the, like, I don't know, for the first couple of hours, but it's not that perfume that it projects for the whole day like if you're gonna wear this perfume in the morning and you come back home in the evening like six seven in the evening this perfume doesn't project anymore of course it smells like it stays on your skin it stays on your clothes so good so nicely it's just it doesn't project so it's it's a quite downturn for me and i was a little bit annoyed and surprised because i was expecting this is like an amazing projection kind of perfume but like on the projection it lasts a little bit uh throughout like the end of the day because first hours it's a beast like this is a beast however on skin on clothes yes definitely it lasts like longevity is 
definitely there, like 10 out of 10. Projection is like missing. In my opinion, it's like 7.5 out of 10, honestly speaking. And for a perfume that is nearly 300 pound perfume, it's a bit annoying. Like, honestly, it's a bit annoying. This is like masculine. This is like so sexy. It's not it's unisex but like i could even see a guy pulling this off honestly but like if you've been watching videos in my channel you know that i'm inclined to like masculine unisex fragrances i'm not like the typical floral um fruity girl no 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 i love leather i love wood i love arabic scents this is like arabic expensive scent highly recommend it like you can use it even during the winter there is nothing wrong this can easily be worn in winter time in autumn and I actually do wear it sometimes even now, like honestly, I do go out often, often, often in Nicebridge and in Nicebridge, like this is the fragrance I tend to grab to, you know, Arabic fragrances, you know. But yeah, definitely this is going to be my summer 2022 summer night out signature scent, I must say. And I'm really glad I discovered it thanks to my sister, Redina, that she was like, you need to try it. Yes. Overture is similar to Opera. However, Overture is a little bit more fruity and more flowery. It's more like feminine. If, if it's something that I would say they are very similar. Overture is a more feminine version of opera. Opera is more like masculine lining, but like I adore it. This is like bold. Like imagine wearing full on black, full on leather black. Even now you're going out and like wearing in the evening full on leather black and like a gorgeous makeup and you wear opera. Oh my God, oh my God. Fancy bar, fancy hotel, fancy cigar place. Fancy whatever call you, you know, guys. So, yes, this is like screams money, money, money. I got my shit together. I have class. Bitch, please don't sit next to me, okay? That's a fragrance. Highly percent recommended. The only thing is just the projection. If that projection was like great, this doesn't have any downturn. Like, absolutely adore it it would be like a 10 out of 10 for now this is like an 8.5 out of 10 and it's quite a disappointing considering that it's an expensive fragrance and everything but yeah 100 percent adore it i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it both me and my sister use it because my sister she was same like my mom inclined towards boring floral fruity fragrances living with me and using the same perfumes as me she completely changed like honestly She's much more inclined now to wear Arabic scents, Middle Eastern scents, woody scents, ambery, leatherish, and she's like, oh my god, it's so good, like, so, yes. And I want to just give a suggestion to all the girls that are out there, like, because so many of you, I know they're so much into um, floral and um, fruity, normal scents, this is what I call normal scents. Um, just experiment a little bit more with this like Middle Eastern perfume, like Arabic kind of perfume, because they really are unique and you want to smell a little bit different, a little bit more bougie sometimes, you know? So if you're going to go for like a simple designer floral um, fragrance, okay, it's gorgeous, it's super sexy, it's super feminine, but like it's not a head turn in my opinion. So just experiment more with a little bit more Oriental Arabic scents, just to like you feel much more powerful, you feel much more noticed, honestly, with this kind of perfume. So yeah, this was Opera by Zerjov. Go and check it out. Go and smell it if you are an, an Arabic and um, fragrance lover that, like me. <laughs> definitely you're gonna adore it, like honestly. A mysterious, sexy, seductive, fruity, leathery fragrance. This is this is how I'm gonna name and describe this fragrance. It's fucking sexy. Like honestly, this is so sexy and like sexy expensive. Like I have my shit totally together. This is the perfume. Like this is a perfume. So yes, 100% recommended. I'm so happy I actually purchased it. And yes, by the way, when I got this perfume, um, I normally buy my Zerjovs in uh, in Harvest, um, sixth floor. Uh, they have like a private. Um, perfume salon place, it's not like private for members, but it's like more 
hidden let's say not so many people know about it because normally on the first on the ground floor it harvests you have all the perfumes there but like the maison de perfume is actually upstairs in floor six and they have all these niche brands and yes and um, when i was there there was actually this turkish girl she was so helpful so nice and i was like to her i really love zerjov's and everything like for me honestly guys zerjov is like the number one niche perfumery house like i adore it so much so so much it's incredible and i was like to her yes i i know what i'm gonna buy over here and everything but i was like give me some other suggestions maybe for daytime summer because i'm gonna go and buy something else as well so yes and um yeah definitely she was so nice and everything and when i was like yeah definitely i'm gonna go for this one guys she gave me like loads of samples so many samples and the next video i'm actually gonna do i'm aiming to film it today so if i can yes i'm gonna review all the samples that she gave me because it's like more than five she like gave me so many samples so it's gonna be a review of the different samples i received they are like very famous one like ivory root naxos um a couple of others like I, I don't remember the names but i have so many so the next video is gonna be another zerzo video where i'm gonna review the samples perfumes that i received when i bought opera so yes Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you now understand how opera smells. And if you are an oriental fragrance lover, definitely go and check it out. And if you are not um, used to Sergio before or you haven't experimented with the brand before, I know it's a little bit pricey. It's not like a cheap brand, not at all. But like if you can afford it and if you want to splurge like quite a lot of money on a perfume, if you're addicted to me in perfumes, yes, go and check it out because this niche perfumery house is like crazy. It's amazing and everything. So yes, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.